Hey, what's going on? In this video today, we're going to talk about internal strength. By that, I mean the different mindset shifts, yeah, the different mindset shifts you can have for developing a sense of personal strength, a sense of personal power within yourself and therefore staying motivated. This is me. I'm Brian Ogilvy and I'm the author of this book, How to Conquer Yourself. Chapter four of How to Conquer Yourself is on how to build motivation. I use the catchphrase, motivation is built internally from one sense of identity and can never be derived from an external point of reference. So in this video, I'm gonna exemplify what I mean with these five keys. The first is, let's see, yeah. give me a second. All right, perform single-mindedly. And the affirmation here is, I do one thing at a time and I do it well. So, da -da 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 -da. that picture's for later. Use a GTD, David Allen came up with this idea of getting things done, GTD, and he has the concept, write everything down. So every time you have an idea of something that you need to do, a creative idea or a task or just some errand, what have you, or even a note that you wanna email or text to somebody else, write it down so that your mind can stay focused on whatever it is that you're doing. All right, if you don't do one and then focus on one key task a day related to your goal, like let's say I was uh, consulting with an actress uh, a couple weeks back. That's what this picture is for. And we sat down and for the first time, I guess, in a long time, she sat down and actually wrote out everything that she had to do related to her acting career because it's like, a, you know, it's a personal ambition. It's not like work or anything like that. So we delineated all the different tasks from all the different um, marketing uh, steps, the skill level steps, etc. And then I said, so tomorrow morning when you wake up, because it was a Saturday, just focus on doing one of these things. And if anything else comes to mind, write it down. If you don't write it down, you'll get this sense of overwhelm in your head. You'll be like, oh, snap, I got all this ish that I need to get done. And it'll, uh, it'll drain you. So perform single-mindedly. Do one thing at a time, write everything down, and focus on one thing a day and then you'll get that sense of accomplishment second is to act with the future in mind and the affirmation here is i act based on my vision for the future not other people's opinion all right so other people don't live with your decisions like other people don't have to deal with the repercussions and the consequences of the choices you make you do so remember that whenever it comes to goal setting whenever it comes to anything related to uh, your goals or just your drive about who you want to be in the life that you want to create into the future. All right, so all my key transitions in life were based on this form of uh, self-direction. So when I was a percussionist, people used to tell me I was obsessed with the drums as if it was like a negative compulsive thing, which it was, but it was good because it got me out of uh, the kind of hood mentality that I was surrounded by. When I became vegetarian, Everyone gave me quote unquote beef. Everyone thought it was a bad idea, but now I'm like one of the healthier people that I know. And that's because of that choice. Uh, and just reading in general, when I was in school, people used to be like, damn, B, you live in the library as if that was a negative thing. But that's the, that's the prerequisite. That's the foundation for my ability to communicate with people now, connect with people now, and also all the work you see with the book and the site, etc. So third, value loyalty and dependability. The affirmation here, repeat after me. I want you to repeat these after I say them. My friends are loyal and dependable people, all right? Because this is very uh, important. Stay away from gossipers, complainers, and ghetto trash. There should be a picture of a bus coming up soon. Let's see here. All right, so I was taking a bus the other day. Oops. Let's try this again. So I was taking a bus the other day, and these two kids got on the bus, and um, they started play fighting. They started antagonizing each other as if they were going to fight, but they were doing a pretty good job of it to the point where a lot of the girls, a lot of the women on the bus were like scared. And uh, me, I um, I knew they were kind of like just playing around. So I didn't pay it any mind. But when I got off the bus, I felt drained. I had to stop back at my house to like rest and just decompress for a minute because the negativity of the just the ghetto antagonism between the two kids, even though they were just playing around. It drained me and then I lost like an hour of the day just by being around that. So thinking about it again, what I should have done was I should have got off the bus and just waited for the next one. The 15 minutes I would have waited for the next bus, it would have saved me the, uh, the emotional and psychological drain of just the, the negativity. So let people know you trust them. That's the next one. When you're talking to someone, when you're sharing a goal with them, like say, I'm giving you this task because I know you're somebody that can be counted upon. I'm giving you this task because I know I can trust you. 
And that'll trigger that sense of responsibility within the person. And if they're a responsible person, if they're the type of person that you want to be around, they'll take pride in that. They'll be glad that they know they can be trusted and they'll be glad for the opportunity to prove that sense of uh, responsibility, to take ownership, as they talk about in like uh, business settings, like take ownership of a task. Next, let your losses go. And the affirmation here is I feel my losses completely and move on effortlessly and immediately. So here, what I mean is leave the past behind you. Like if something goes wrong, just let it go. Like, okay, this went wrong and now I'm moving on with what's going on. Don't let it drain. Don't carry the psychological vibe of a loss into another task or into the future, even if it's five minutes before. Give yourself a regret window. So like that lady was staring out the window. What I mean is give yourself a set position of time to feel bad. Like, okay, I'm going to allow myself, you know, it's like, let's say it's 10 p.m. at night. Like, all right. I'm not going to do anything else for the rest of the night, but get something to eat and go to bed. So I can feel down for the rest of the night about this thing. But when I wake up tomorrow morning, it's back to the grind. It's back to what I was focused on. I'm going to give myself an hour. I'm going to give myself just 10 minutes to process the loss, and then I'm going to move forward. Next, fifth, this is the last one. See beyond the limitation. The affirmation is this quote unquote problem is temporary and ephemeral. Repeat these after me. All right. So don't let circumstances define your identity and that could be either a positive thing like if things are going good don't think that you're too fly and nothing can touch you because that's when um you know they say pride cometh before a fall or if things are getting too negative the inverse which people i think have more trouble with is when things are going bad don't feel that down about it like realize if you look back over the last eight ten years of your life the bad things that you went through you got through and you're strong and you're better now because of them they're not part of who you are they're just temporary Every year I'm evolving. So like I said, if I go back like uh, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, 10 years ago, at each phase, I was almost a completely different person. And if you talk to people that knew me during that time, it's like I was a different I'm a different guy. I'm the same guy, but I'm more myself and I'm more comfortable about being myself than I ever was. And each year, each like now, like every few months, honestly, like I see myself shifting. And it's pretty interesting, almost like Limitless, I said in a blog post uh, the other day, the movie with uh, Bradley Cooper. So again, perform single-mindedly. All this is about motivation. This is this is internal strength, and this is the practical step. So maximize your performance by giving yourself one key task a day, and then you'll feel like you're progressing. Like Write everything down so it's archived, then it's out of your mind. Keep your mind clear, and then give yourself that one key task when you have those like extra hours or you know two hours, whenever, to do your thing. Just focus on that. And then archive, use GTD for the rest. So act for your future, not another person's perspective. Set goals based on internal standards of truth, internal standards of progress, internal standards and internal principles. And adhere to that rather than, uh, you know, whatever the jokers around you might think. Because you don't know what somebody's motivations are. Like, you don't know why it is someone is telling you what they're telling you. You don't know where they're coming from. So you can never really take it too seriously. Another person's mind is like a... It's like an alternate dimension. It's like a parallel universe in that you can never really know it completely. But you do know objectively where you're at and you know objectively what you want out of life. So let that be the uh, informer. Let that be the, the guidepost for what you're going to do and behave as. So keep your friendships limited and strong by befriending, befriending only strong people. And when I say strong, I don't mean rich and famous. What I mean is Strong in sense of principle, strong in sense of honesty, integrity, the sense of responsibility, like the character traits that I'm talking about here. Any you could be broke as hell or you can be a billionaire, you know, and it doesn't make a difference because these are like it's internal strength. So be around people that embody internal strength, which is really character strength or personality. And there's only a few people really that are, you're going to come across that embody that lose with integrity, like process your losses thoroughly and move forward, like get over it. You know what I mean? The. uh Go back to the drawing board. Go back to the dating world. Go back to the job search. Go back to whatever it is and just start over. Like, let it go and start over. Move on. And lastly, look beyond your limitations because you're not complacent. All right? You know that you're not a complacent person. And you know that whatever you're going through is only like it's ephemeral. It's going to, it's fleeting. It's going to change. I wrote a rhyme a while back and I, I made a, there's a line in the poem that goes, as long as I never get complacent here, I'll obtain a better place in adjacent years. All right. So remember that as long as I never get complacent here, I'll attain a better place in adjacent years. 
And remember, internal strength. Motivation is built internally by a sense of identity. You can never really get it from an external source. Over the long term, I mean, it's about character. So email me, obviously, phone. Uh, the feedback helps me a lot, as I said in the last video. You can get uh, free chapters and more vids. You can check out my book like this uh, Tuskegee Airman here. And get free podcasts and more videos like this at dothenowledge.com. On the right sidebar of the blog, you see where you enter for free chapters and what have you. So hope this helps. Give me a buzz anytime to talk more and uh, take care. Peace.